Let's balance the net ionic equation for CaH2 plus H2O. This is calcium hydride and this is water. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. And this here is the molecular equation. I've looked at this, I can see I have one oxygen here and then two times the one, two oxygens on this side. Everything else is balanced. So if I put a two here, two times one, that balances the oxygens, but now the hydrogens aren't balanced. I have two plus four, six, and I only have two times one plus two. So if I put a two here, two times two is four plus the two times the one, the equation is now balanced. If you need help with this, there's a video specifically on balancing the molecular equation here at the end of this video. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So calcium hydride is a solid, water's a liquid. We're gonna assume we have excess water here so that this would be aqueous when we're done. If we had the exact stoichiometric amounts, it might be a solid. And then we have hydrogen gas. So we're assuming excess water in this reaction. Note that calcium hydroxide is considered aqueous if we have excess water because it's a strong base. At this point, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So note again, we don't split solids, liquids, or gases apart in net ionic equations. So at this point, we would cross out spectator ions, but there aren't any. Everything here is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for CaH2 plus H2O. And we're saying that we're doing this with excess water so that we have this aqueous solution here. If we had the precise amounts for this reaction to happen, this would actually be a solid here. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for CaH2 plus H2O, calcium hydride plus water. Thanks for watching.